Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Uh, just wanted to report the news that I just found out about this morning that uh, former Trouble and most recently uh, the Skull vocalist Eric Wagner uh, has died from COVID-19 at the age of 62. Um, yeah, pretty sad. For all of you who think that COVID uh, is just a bunch of BS, it is not. Uh, we are losing people left and right every day. And Eric is the latest, uh, came down. The band were set to play Psycho Las Vegas, his band The Skull. We're set to play Psycho Las Vegas uh, this past weekend and uh, obviously had to cancel their appearance due to Eric coming down with COVID-19 and uh, getting pneumonia pretty quickly and then dying very, very fast. I mean, he, he died uh, last night, Sunday night, which was the uh, 22nd of August. So, uh, yeah, another iconic musician leaving us way too early. Um, so, for a little bit of history, so Eric and the rest of the Trouble Band uh, kind of debuted on the uh, heavy rock scene or heavy metal scene in the late 70s. Uh, one of the first you know, batch of doom bands to follow in the spirit of Black Sabbath, along with Pentagram and Candlemass and St. Vitus and bands of that nature. Of course, you know, who can forget those first two Skull albums, right? We've got uh, Psalm 9 and The Skull. Those first two Trouble albums, classic, right? Look at those album covers. Big, slow, monolithic doom, but with a very powerful message of course these guys decided to take more of the spiritual way with their lyrics okay as opposed to some of the more evil evil sounding stuff that focused on the occult and things like that uh trouble were coming from a different way but their music was just as heavy and uh, you know they eventually as we you know went into the 80s you got the run to the light you know the, these three are some of the landmark albums in classic early 80s doom all right. Uh, the band would start to change their sound a little bit, right? And go for, you know, take on more of a stoner vibe. We had a lot of bands that were kind of putting like 70s hard rock and injecting it into Doom for this whole thing called Stoner, right? We've got uh, the self titled album, of course, produced by Rick Rubin. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Uh, you know, of course, we've got uh, Plastic Greenhead and Manic Frustration, all right, with his tremendous, tremendous vocals. I mean, this guy, an amazing singer. A really, really good singer, and his voice blended so well. It's amazing when you when you look at some of the the doom bands that we've had over the years. You know, Sabbath and Candlemass and Cathedral and Saint Vitus and Witchfinder General and Trouble. Okay, um, Solitude Eternum. You know, you've got these these really, really strong vocalists that each bring something different to the table, but elevate those those big, big riffs and take them to new heights with their vocal style. Uh, Eric was no different and he had a commanding stage presence i mean you him up at the microphone just so so good such a great front man such a great great uh, vocalist and you know whether you you like the early early really slow heavy doomy stuff almost that funeral doom stuff from the first couple albums or you like the bands a little more um, up tempo stoner doom you know with lots of psychedelia which you know you basically get on these type of albums uh it, all his vocals were always there in the middle of it all and always driving uh, these albums and these songs to uh, heights that we haven't always seen on, from a consistency basis with a lot of the doom bands. I mean, you could say that of all these Trouble albums, they're all really, really good in their own way, all really consistent. They all sound really different from each other, which is kind of cool, although there definitely are the errors here, right? Um, but really, really cool stuff. And of course, if you've ever listened to The Skull, Another really great band that he has fronted for a while now because he's had the, you know, he left and went back and left uh, Trouble a few times, uh, but he's been mainly concentrating on the skull in more recent years. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is a pretty sad, sad day uh, in the world of heavy metal and specifically doom metal. Uh, Eric Wagner of Trouble and the Skull leaves us uh, due to complications from COVID-19 at the age of 62. So, uh, Eric, rest in peace. Hopefully you're up there with some of the other greats who have left us and starting a new band, and uh, we will all meet again, my friend, in the end, as they say. So, uh, yeah, another one gone way too soon. Uh, we can't get rid of this COVID-19 fast enough, folks. So, uh, anyway, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Please, uh, 
let's pay homage and tribute to Eric Wagner today. Go out, pull out all your Trouble albums, your CDs, and let's play some, some Trouble today. Let's play some classic Doom in memory of Eric Wagner, who dies at 62. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pete Pardo. Take care.